I can't do like normal things. Like I can't just have fun and listen to music when I'm home alone. I have to be silent. Good morning and welcome back to my channel. We're just gonna get straight in here. This is my first exposure therapy kind of video. So if you watched my last video, which was like three weeks ago, I basically got to a point where I was like, I'm so sick of living the way I'm living. If you're new here, I have complex PTSD and I really struggle to get out of the house. My life is quite limited because of it. I managed to do things, but I can do like nothing alone. I'm terrified of being home alone, terrified of making noise when I'm home alone because then I feel vulnerable, <laughs> terrified of going out of the house by myself because there's no one to protect me and I'll be, again, vulnerable. It's just this constant feeling of like vulnerability. And today I am actually home alone and I will be for the next couple days because my parents are away on holiday, my boyfriend works a nine to five job. So I'm gonna be lingering around the house by myself and I'm it. Um, I did also film a couple exposure therapy-ish clips when I was away in the countryside at the weekend. I was dog sitting my aunt and uncle's dog. But I thought that like with the like leaving the house thing, because I haven't done much exposure for a good couple weeks because I've been procrastinating it because it's scary and I don't like to do things that I don't feel comfortable doing. But anyway, I started off in the countryside. I thought it would be a good place to kind of kick back off and I did. Um, I will insert the clips here of what I managed to do. I am literally sat on the bathroom floor in my aunt and uncle's house. I feel very shaky right now. I thought it would probably be easiest to, because I kind of haven't really done the exposure therapy that I've meant to be doing properly recently, um, so I kind of thought that it would be a good idea to start it in, in because they live in the countryside, well, a small village, and it's so quiet, like, where I live, there's lots of cars, lots of people, and I don't know, I just felt like I feel calmer here, and I do feel actually a little bit less threatened I guess like hello come here <laughs> we've got Mr. Squidge <laughs> basically what goes through my head is someone's gonna hurt me someone's gonna attack me someone's gonna kidnap me basically I just feel threatened by everyone and anything all the time I can't even really think because I am really anxious but I'm gonna try walking to the end of the road with my boyfriend stood like by the house so I'm gonna try and be out of his view for a bit because that's the bit I got really stuck on was knowing that he couldn't see me and help me I generally feel very protected by having other people there I want to do this I want to get through it <laughs> I'm not like wildly anxious right now, but this feels like a good starting step. I feel less anxious than I did a minute ago already, which is nice. Doing it is always easier than you think it is. It is, that's true. That is very true. I'm, I've got the dog with me as well. Okay, come on Squidge. Okay, I'm gonna try and not look behind me as well. That was one of the, this way. was not me looking behind myself. The dog stopped. Still not looking, just gonna assume that Brandon is there. But actually it doesn't matter if he's there because I can protect myself and I'm fine. Right, I'm kind of out of his view now. I think I've done it. I'm gonna reflect on that and say that was honestly nowhere near as hard as it felt in my head. And I don't know if it's because we're in the countryside and I genuinely just feel a bit safer here. I mean, I did, I think the issue is, is that I still knew in my head that you were there. I think the, the real like block for me is the idea of you not being there at all. I still did really good and I felt quite calm. I'm a little bit shaky, but I'm quite calm, so. I know the lighting's not the best thing in the world, but I had like a day off yesterday, <laughs> which is so funny because I only did one day. Um, but I've been doing little challenges here and there anyway. Um, and I just, I just didn't want to film yesterday. I just wanted to have a day of just like being chill. He's just cleaning himself in the background. <laughs> um, so yeah, basically today what I want to do is when we take the dog on a walk, I want to have Brandon like in the porch like not actually out of the house but kind of like aware and i'll walk to the end of the drive and a bit down the road with the dog is my plan i just feel like that's another little stepping stone to being able to leave the house by myself with nobody there out watching because in my head that means that brandon's awareness of me is less because he's obviously got doors between us and stuff like that um so i feel less protected kind of thing i don't know why i'm really out of breath 
I feel more anxious about this, but less anxious than I think I would feel at home. Okay. I I didn't actually go that far to be fair but I don't know I'm so proud of myself because I, I knew that you were I knew that you were in the house or you know basically in the house I which was what made me yeah. yeah and I was like I'm on my own I'm on my own I'm on my own and it just it, it just spooked me but yeah I did good and I feel calm already so yeah so that was really helpful I definitely felt less anxious doing it than the kind of pre like the way I worked myself up, you know? So before we go any further in this video, I do just want to show you the most exciting sponsor for this video ever. I have worked with them before um, and you guys absolutely loved it. This is a brand that has now helped so many of you too because I know so many of you went and bought them and they're a brand that genuinely really, really helped me. Um, so I'm super excited to be working with them again. Um, and that brand is Loop. Loop earplugs are a brand that make earplugs for people with noise sensitivity issues or people that just need a little bit more quiet. They have a range of different earplugs. The ones that I have here are the Loop Engage, which are the ones that I use the most. I find that they bring the noise down to like the perfect level where I can hear myself speak, I can hear myself think, I can hear other people's conversations, but the noise in the background isn't too overwhelming. I was literally using them yesterday on the London Underground words and they're just so helpful because there's some lines that are really noisy and that really overwhelms me but these are little godsends. Loop have actually released a new summer solstice range and they come in three gorgeous colors. You've got amber sunrise which is like a lovely orange color. I've got cerise sunset. I want to say that I'm saying that wrong and then there's also a purple called violet solstice so they've got a beautiful range of colors and obviously they also have the experience and the quiet. These are the ones that I have. I have them in cerise pink which yeah I can't say they're so subtle and i find that so helpful because not that you should be embarrassed of needing something to just take the edge off when you're out but i don't want to be wearing big headphones all the time so these are absolutely perfect because you just pop them in and look how cute they are like they just sit in your ear so perfectly and you would never even know this is a limited edition collection that is available until the end of august for summer i'm just so excited to be able to work with loop again because they're just such an incredible and helpful brand. Um, I do have a discount code, which I'll put on the screen so you guys can get some money off. And yeah, check the link in the description if you wanna go straight to the Loop website. I hope that you guys will find them as helpful as I do. So yeah, on with the video. And I also did another little challenge, which was when I got the train yesterday to London, um, I sat not in the window seat and with someone behind me. I get really scared of people coming up behind me and having people behind me. I'm scared of the world. I'm scared of like my existence. Like I just constantly feel in danger. My plan today is to just bang the challenges out. I'm home alone. One thing that I really can't do when I'm home alone very well is open the door to packages and I will obviously never deliberately arrange for that to happen. I am gonna order myself a delivery for lunch because I'll do it with my boyfriend, but I will never do it by myself because I don't wanna open the door and I'm scared. And I know that sounds really stupid. Actually, no, I'm not gonna say that it sounds stupid because that's just me being mean to myself. It's something I struggle with. And, and okay, it might not make sense to a lot of people, but I have a really vivid and anxious imagination. And I'm like, I'm gonna open the door to this delivery driver and he's somehow gonna know that I'm home alone. So he's gonna push past me, steal the dog, kill me. Like, <laughs> genuinely, my brain is a constant storm. So yeah, I'm gonna do that challenge. I also am planning on making noise while I'm home alone to teach myself that actually, just because I'm not constantly aware of what's going on in the house, uh, it doesn't mean that I am gonna be murdered or hurt. And then also when my boyfriend gets home from work, I'm gonna carry on with the like walking along the road stuff. I'm not gonna die. I'm not gonna die. I haven't died yet and I've done scary things, so. I'm literally about to have therapy, but I'm really, 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 really already getting anxious about the fact that I'm gonna be ordering myself lunch. I'll see you after therapy and then we'll order some lunch. I'm thinking I might get prep. Okay, my therapy literally, oh, so bright. My therapy literally just finished a second ago. So I'm going on Deliveroo and I'm gonna order my food because I'm so hungry. Prep is a 10 to 20 minute wait, which is great because I'm so hungry. Doesn't that look delightful? 
I hate feeling like this. I, I said in my last video, but I feel like I'm signing myself up to die. Like in my head right now, I'm like, but I could just avoid this. Like I don't need to do, I mean, I do actually kind of need to order lunch because we don't have anything in the house. But in my brain, I'm like, why am I putting myself in, in this situation when I could just not? But like people order Deliveroo every day and, and it's fine. People answer the door every day and they're fine. It's just so irrational. Right, it's gonna come in like 15 minutes. I guess I'll just panic until then. Guys, apparently he's about two minutes away. I'm bricking it. I can do this. I can do it. I I know I, I know I can. I just, my heart rate feels like it's going very quickly right now. He's outside, I'm scared. Thank you. I did it guys, I got the goods. I feel sick, I feel really anxious and I know that that's silly because he was just a nice man that smiled at me and said, have a nice day. Like, Jose, you were lovely. Why was that so anxiety provoking? Okay. But I'm fine. Everything's fine and I didn't die and everything's okay. I have a croissant, my bistro-y sandwich-y thing, which looks delightful. That's so good. This was worth answering the door for, I think. The other challenge that my therapist set me today was to listen to music for five minutes. Loud music to the point where I wouldn't be able to hear if somebody was in the house. I still feel really embarrassed about this, even though I know if someone else said it to me, I wouldn't be judging them. And I got a lot of comments on my last video, like I keep saying about myself that I should be able to do this and I can't. And like, I do need to be more gentle on myself. And that's very true. So thank you all for calling me out on that. Not in a rude way. You weren't calling me out in a rude way. You know what I mean? But I want to be able to dry my hair when I'm home alone because at the moment I can only like wash my hair and dry my hair when someone's in the house because I'm not aware enough if I'm in the shower or have a hair dryer next to my head. We're starting off by listening to five minutes of music. I'm really anxious about this, probably even more anxious than I was about opening the door to be honest. I'm gonna listen to Blushing by Bonnie Kemple but you're gonna have to listen to royalty free music because otherwise I'll get copyrighted. <laughs> It has to be loud enough. I feel anxious already. Okay. Don't talk about me that way, I can't stand it. Dress me up and push me. three minutes but I'm really getting to a point of like actually feeling like I'm gonna cry. I don't really want to do that and I don't really want to freak out but I really feel like I'm about to die so this is not very fun. <laughs> There's only a minute left of this song so I'm gonna I'm, I'll finish the last minute. Raise your glass and won't you stay a while I did a four minute song. Hello, for this part of the video, I want to do some planning because I kind of went into this week with like no prep, no organization. I haven't really planned at all. I've just kind of winged it. I do feel like that's gonna hold me back. I feel like this week I have not been as kind of time efficient as I could have been and that's fine. I'm not mad at myself, but I want to set goals for next week because I think when you're in recovery and you're working towards a free life, it's kind of so much easier to, to work in small goals because the like whole free life, like having freedom can feel so far off. So I've had this goal for weeks now and I still haven't achieved it. Next week, I want to leave the house completely by myself, walk down the road with Brandon or whoever like in the house, not paying attention. They can't hear me, they can't see me, I am on my own. And to be honest, that feels absolutely terrifying to me. And after yesterday, like just listening to the music, I did have a cry and I was really, really, really stressed. And I, that is like the kind of reason that I've been putting this off for so long, because I don't want to feel that discomfort and I don't want to feel that anxiety. Fucking terrified of literally being killed, which I know sounds really, really stupid and, and you know, 
know I'm not gonna open up about my trauma on here, but I haven't, no one's ever attempted to kill me. It's kind of like my anxiety has taken things that have happened to me in the past and just spun it into anxiety about life in general. Like I think sometimes it's important to realize maybe if you have people in your life who are struggling with this kind of thing and you're kind of thinking, well, why no one's ever tried to hurt you. First of all, you might not know what they've gone through. Um, so do try not to make assumptions. But second of all, sometimes when you've had something horrible happen to you in your life, it kind of knocks your trust in the world and it knocks the faith that you have that you're going to be okay and suddenly everything feels scary. Uh, and that fear that you have about you know maybe trigger warning but like say sexual assault say someone has trauma around sexual assault suddenly men are scary to them but it's not just men that are scary to them it's also everyone else because you no longer trust that that people aren't out to get you if you know what i mean so yeah i don't know if that makes sense as i just said by the end of the week next week i want to be walking down the road fully down the road and back by myself with Brandon or whatever in the house. I also want to be able to have my headphones on and a podcast playing, even if that's only for like 10 minutes to start with and then maybe the week after I start to feel more comfortable just having it, but I wanna have headphones on and a podcast playing because that is how I am my most productive. Um, I think I've mentioned that before, but like, podcast really really help me focus so those are two really big goals for me i want to order delivery again it's going to break my bank eventually but it's worth it for the challenge you know okay i literally hated doing this yesterday and i just didn't feel happy at all but i know i need to redo it because the same as anorexia recovery challenge repeat until it's not scary anymore. You have to repeat the challenge because if you only do it once, it's forever gonna stay scary. And I can't teach my brain that there's nothing bad that's gonna come from not being able to hear everything going on around me constantly, unless I keep doing it because I need as much evidence as I can get for my brain because my brain is convinced that it's doing the right thing to try and protect me, but it's actually not. So we're gonna play some music. Again, you're gonna have to listen to like royalty free stuff because I don't wanna get copyrighted. I've got a really itchy leg. I'm actually really freaking out already because I just saw someone walk past and I don't know, it's just making me anxious, okay. I'm listening to the 1975 because this is a five minute long song. This makes me so anxious. I get so angry that I can't do like normal things. Like I can't just have fun and listen to music when I'm home alone. I have to be silent. It's so frustrating. I'm only one minute 42 in and I don't want to give up. So. Okay, so I've kind of just calmed down. That was my phone, but I'm, I always do this. Like I can feel myself shaking, but it's not a visible shake, but I'm shaky. Um, I'm gonna feed the dog and try and zen a bit before I spend the evening editing and also do my little walk down the street thing, so. This way's longer, that way's shorter, I don't know. No, that way's longer. Yeah. I don't know, that way's the right direction, but yeah, okay. I just really don't want to. Okay. Okay. We're nearly getting the road now. Oh, I could do it, I could do it, I could do it. There's no one behind me. There's not gonna be anyone behind me. It's fine. You did so good. You did so good, Richard. You did so good. Thank you. You did great. See? Who still wants to go? Let's go. I feel really like. Oh, there's a cat over there. Like shaky and stuff. I don't know. Well, did you see how even doing it when you still really didn't want to do it? So cool that is. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I did do it because I would have been annoyed at myself tomorrow when I realised I'd missed a day. Exactly. Well, this is not like I'm so overly anxious about everything that I'm like, well, what if someone wanted to rob her and <laughs> wanted to steal her? And I know how I stupid it is. I know how stupid it is, but like, I it's can't. It's the whole point of the fear being irrational is that it's an irrational fear. Like... I know, but I realise how crazy it sounds, but like, I just, it's like doing that then, I was just, I don't know why, I'm just a bit overwhelmed, and I was like, triply convinced that something bad was going to happen, and then there was someone walking towards me, and I was like, ugh. Did something bad happen? No, nothing bad happened. Did it? <laughs> I know, and like, every time I do this, it's just another... Yeah, yeah, it's like another bit of evidence, isn't it, that like, like I haven't died yet, because it's not like it's not actually as high a chance of it happening as i think there is but my brain thinks that just because it's happened to somebody it will happen to me or because things have happened to me in the past then it's all going to happen again like i need to be in a possible mindset not a probable mindset because you can't say that it's not gonna happen like never gonna happen like there's no chance it will happen obviously there's a possibility that it could happen but like it's also not very likely that it will happen so like you going outside doesn't mean that you are going to get attacked. If you don't do it at the times that it feels really hard, it's just going to be so much harder, like, when you need to do it in that situation. Yeah, I don't know. I did it. Thank you. Good morning. That was me answering the door to an Amazon delivery. I actually picked up my camera to talk to you anyway about the fact that I'm about to order Deliveroo. I kind of was reflecting this morning and was like, I just want to be free so bad. And for the past like three weeks now, I have basically been putting off doing proper exposure. And now I've got in the swing of it. And obviously even like last night, I was really struggling and I didn't want to do it. Brandon really had to be like, you're going to regret it if you don't. I kind of had this like, urge to just like want to do more so we still haven't been shopping which is really not good but like things have been hectic and stuff so i'm gonna order pratt again because <laughs> it's easy and i have an appointment at two and brandon gets home at like 20 past one so we're not gonna have time to go to the shops so i'm gonna order a pratt and i'm gonna answer the door and everything's gonna be fine because the past however many times i've done it nothing's happened and it's just been a nice person on the other side of the door trying to give me my food so we're gonna do that aren't we yeah yeah. Thank you. <sighs> okay. My camera's about to die, but my reflection on that is that it was easier than yesterday. Which is cool, because I only did it once. I feel like my camera's definitely going to die, but just an update. My peer support worker came over. I have a peer support worker under the NHS because I um, am under a mental health team and they help me. So I have um, a peer support worker and she's quite new. So she came over and we did our first like actual exposure session. Um, and basically I walked down the road we both walked down the road together and then I walked back up by myself. So I didn't have the dog with me and I tried not to check behind me. So yeah, I've done another bit today and I'm gonna do it again tonight. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd give you a little update. <laughs> It's the furthest I've been. I just did that. That was the easiest one yet. I think it's because I'm really excited right now. I've just had a very cool opportunity come my way and it's motivated me a lot to be more independent. But also I did it earlier and I've done it so many times this week and it feels easier already. It's so true that the more you do it, the easier it gets, which is annoying because- You're Yeah, it's annoying, but it works. I'm feeling quite proud of myself. I spontaneously decided that I will walk the rest of the way home on our road back to our house and then Brandon will wait at the start of the road similar to what I did earlier I'm just on a roll now like it's something feels like it's clicked and it's just starting to feel a bit easier so oh. nothing bad has happened thus far and everything's gonna be fine I'm gonna do that 
Mm -mm. Yes, I made it back to the front door. I did it. Hello, it's literally tipping it down. Um, so if you can hear rain in the background, that's why. But I just wanted to end the video here. Um, I will hopefully be back next week with another load of exposure therapy. I think I did really well this week and I am feeling quite confident, quite proud of myself. And I'm happy that I've kind of got the ball rolling. Oh my God, my camera's about to die. Um, I obviously said earlier in the video that I have more of a plan for next week. So that's good and I'm looking forward to that. So yeah, onwards and upwards. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already and you want to keep up with my little getting out into the world journey. Um, I'll leave the link to Loop in the description and the link to my Instagram in the description if you want to follow me. So yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs>